7 o'clock on Thursday. Hopefully you guys are watching because you just clicked our link on our Facebook page. We got uh, a ton of viewers on there. And what we do is we talk about what's going on in the motorcycle community here in the Florida market. We are always doing some great stuff. If you guys haven't watched before, this is what we do. We got lots of pretty girls we're going to bring on this show tonight. We're live at the Brown Boxer and Countryside for their first uh, of the Thursday of the month bike night. We got always bands out there, drink specials, Harley Davidson, Fran Hash, Cycle Springs, lots of vendors out there. Uh, you can come check out new bikes. You can come check out all the good stuff. And that's what we do. So we come out to Brown Boxer and have a good time. Brown Boxer's in Countryside right off of 19. Great place. Let me tell you, there's like... Uh, 60 TVs on the wall because you know they got the NFL game on tonight. Uh, this Thursday, like like the first Thursday of every month, they do the bike night. It's a lot of fun. And we got all this new stuff. John's taking good care of us. John from Tampa Bay Multimedia has that new intro you saw coming in. That was uh, only released for us, I think, two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. Um, with Thanksgiving and everything, we took uh, uh, last Thursday off. Hope nobody missed us because uh, we were all eating turkey and having a good time. But... Uh, I mean, we just, we, I, we're really taking our, our, our show up to the next level. We want everybody to appreciate what we're doing. We got cool 3D graphics like this. Look at this thing. You can see behind it. This thing doesn't happen overnight. John from Tampa Bay Multimedia. I think we can put a little dual screen on here. So we, uh, he's a man. I, he was busy, so I'm making him work now. Um, we got to say hi to John. Uh, you can look him up, Tampa Bay Multimedia. John's the man that makes all this happen. He's the guy that uh, took over the streaming when we were doing our streaming, and he's made us look this good. And that new intro, man, it really is sharp. John, where are you at? Oh, look, oh, yeah, he needs a microphone. Yes, that, uh, that does help when you have a microphone. Because <laughs> we can put a picture of you up there, and uh, no, one, no one would hear you. Here we go. Look at <laughs> We're professionals on this, so that's how we roll. That's how hey, we John, roll. John, what's going on? What's going on? Man, I'm, I'm really loving the new look of this show. Uh, and we, we were in our pre-production meeting today. We were talking about our new studio and what we're going to do when we set up out at events and set up at bike nights and set up at things. We're talking about maybe streaming live from Quaker Steak and Lube one or two Wednesdays a month so you guys can see the craziness that happens there with the two, 3,000 bikes that show up. Man, last night it was a beautiful weather. There must have been 3,000 bikes there. It was packed to the gills. It was awesome. Quaker Steak and Lube is in Clearwater, 10, 10400 49th Street North. Uh, great place. If you haven't been there, it's amazing. Uh, they got cars hanging from the ceiling, bikes hanging from the ceilings. Oh, look, there's John. He's back. Hey, You're so, a little smaller this time. I, I see that. We, we shrunk you down. Yeah. So are we going to start um, streaming from the, the loop? I'm thinking, you, in our production meeting, we were talking about it. You know, we got all those cool new intros and we got these cool 3D effects. And, uh, you know, Thursdays are nice, but man, how about having a, an audience when we do this show? Oh, that's scary. I, it, you're telling me. You know, right now I'm just talking to a camera and you, I feel like, but and, and the millions of viewers, of course, which no, I understand. Exactly. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, um, thanks. But, you know, when you have a studio, a, an audience in front of you, you really can't screw up and stutter like I am because it's, it's really difficult. No, you cannot. But, uh, you know, we got a lot of stuff in the future planned. We like being out and about. If you guys want us to come out and do a show at your location, very simple, easy setup. It looks, we got a very professional, nice setup. Uh, cameras galore. We could talk about all the events you have coming up, a future event you have coming up, uh, past events. I mean, that's what we do. We've done uh, videos on um, at the other Brown Boxer when they did Madeira Beach Bike Fest, and we oh, yeah. got a ton of people yep. saying good stuff and full throttle rocks. Full throttle rocks. I got to make sure we, when we do that, it's got to be Florida full throttle rocks. That's right, Florida full throttle rocks, because there are five other issues across the states, and I say yeah. five now because our St. Louis, Missouri issue is actually coming back live. It, it uh, was down for a little bit, uh, but there's a new guy coming in, taking over in that St. Louis, Missouri area. It's going to have another Full Throttle. You want to check us out, we have a national site. It's FullThrottleUSA.com, and uh, right. that'll take you all the other issues. There's a Florida, Georgia, Alabama, New York, New England, the Midwest, and the Carolinas. So I don't oh, know you, if you knew that or not. We should get all these people to, to uh, Skype in. That'd be cool. And have well, one big show. That would be cool. We can get some of those guys to probably do that. I, I know them that. and I've uh, dealt with them a, a lot in the past. So, But tonight, again, we're here live at the Brown Boxer. We're sitting in there awesome. If you look behind us, look at this. This is a whole patio kind of style <coughs> seating section. You got three 60-inch TV screens if you want. 
Um, what they do is they rent this out and they cater. Look at that behind. This is a, a whole area you can take over, watch football games, uh, hockey games, whatever you want. I think they don't even charge you, and then they, they do catering for this whole area down here, so you can take care of it all. You see, I got an empty chair. We're going to fill this up with some pretty girls here in a second, and um, definitely uh, going to have some uh, eye-catching stuff besides myself to sit here and look at, because nobody wants to sit here and look at me talk about motorcycle stuff, right? Although, we had a good weekend, and uh, a couple good weeks coming up. Last Sunday, December 1st, of course, was Jim's Harley-Davidson Toy Run, the first, first one of the year. Uh, the, the numbers were a little down this year because it was one of those weird years that Thanksgiving fell on Thursday and their toy run fell on Sunday. So everybody was out of town. They still had almost 1,300 people, or 1,300 bikes and almost 1,900 people, which is a lot. Their, their route is so long, goes down to, past uh, uh, Don Cesar, loops around past Shadrachs, comes back up and ends at Jim's. Awesome. We took the fire truck on it this year. We got some pictures of it. We're going to get Kim in here from Jim's Harley Davidson. We're going to talk about that. She's going to have all the places that it went, all the good information about the, the police that helped, the charities it went to, and that is a 100% donation goes back to the charities, which is awesome. That is, you know, I, I've seen on Facebook some um, charities getting busted lately for not giving back money or only giving back, you know, 1%, making 99% profit or paying bills or paying salaries, and, and that doesn't fly with me. I'm sorry. I'm a, I sit on the board of a multiple charities, and... If I sit on there, I don't need to take a dime. It's not what I expect. I expect the charity to give everything they get in, if not to cover their expenses on certain things that are over and above that you can't control, but most of it should go back. I mean, at least to the 70 percentile should be going back to what you're doing if you're a charity. That's me. I'm off my soapbox now on that because uh, there's, a, there's a lot of them that have been uh, getting me pretty good. And I don't know if you're... If you go look at our Facebook page, I started a conversation on there about lane splitting. That's another one of my pet peeves. I don't know if you know what lane splitting is. It's right in the middle of the lanes between the cars when you get traffic or so you get up to the front. I personally am not a fan, but uh, I've seen a lot of the comments on there. I can understand it in cities like California. In Florida, it's not necessary. If you lane split, you're stupid. And that's just the way I feel. And I'm I, a biker. I gotta so. agree with that. I mean, <clears throat> and I was one of those kind of guys that was really guilty about that. I, uh, because I was a, a rice rocket boy, and we're like, Zzz. but after I, I was in San Francisco, and I saw this kid get clipped because he was doing that, and the, gar, and the car, the car didn't see him, kind of just edged over, over and over, and then got run over by a truck. It had, you, you know, you do misjudge a mirror, you misjudge somebody changing lanes, yep. you scare the crap out of people when you come flying down that lane if your if your pipes are loud, it's just not a good thing, and and and. You know, most of the people that have been commenting are, are the same way, but Californians, 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 whatever they are, they, they, they back it 100% because they got laws against it. You know, if it's 70, you can't be doing it. You can't do it when it's 70 miles an hour, but if there's traffic stop and they got, uh, it's posted on there, go to our Full Throttle page, look up Florida Full Throttle on Facebook, join in the conversation, be sure to comment on it, your pros or cons. Don't get aggressive with people because I don't like that. I'll delete you if you get yelly and screamy. I commented on that. Did you really? Oh yeah, it's a it's a big deal. There's 230 comments. I was trying to read them all, and they're good. Some of the statements are great. Some of the statements are aggressive. Some of them are passive and just yep. you know you're stupid. They're dumb. Death wish. But you know what? It's a it, it happens. Bikers do it every day. I saw all one do time. it the day I posted it. I was out riding or driving, and a bike came flying down the middle lane, and I'm like, oh, I yep. just talked about this. It's really funny. <laughs> but that's what this is about, talking about things that affect the motorcycle community, talking about events that are coming up. We got a whole cruising calendar. We got pictures from Jim's Harley Davidson. We're going to talk about the Suncoast Brotherhood toy run coming up. That's December 15th. We're going to talk about our teddy bear toy run coming up. That's December 21st. All types of good stuff. But what we're going to do now is take a break, pay some bills. We got some commercials to run. We got some good stuff and new commercials to run. We've been working on some stuff here. So make sure you check out uh, all of our... Um, our YouTube page, right? Our YouTube page is up. Look up Florida Full Throttle Vision. Full Throttle Vision is one word. And so Full Throttle Vision. Easy. Look it up. Watch some of our old shows. See what, if you like us. And you know what? You can have us at your place, your location, your whatever. Anytime, anywhere. We're, we can come out and stream live and have a great time with you no matter what. Right, John? That's right. That is correct. He's giving me the thumbs up. So, John, why don't you take us some, some commercials. And why don't we get some other people in here so I don't have to sit here and yammer all night long. 
I like it. You're watching Full Throttle Vision. I've been representing accident victims for nearly a decade, and I've always wanted an office where my clients would feel comfortable and welcome. I'm attorney Fran Hosh, and I've also always been a fighter, never backing down to any insurance company or their attorneys when it comes to representing my clients' rights. Let me deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. If you've been injured in an accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. The last several years have been confusing and trying for homeowners. Advisors Mortgage and Financial Group was there before the housing crisis, during, and we are still here now advising people of their options and helping them choose the best financial solutions for their family. You do have options, and today's market promises lots of opportunities. We have found that there are a lot of questions out there and misinformation, and we want you to know we have answers. Advisors Mortgage and Financial Group providing solutions today for a better tomorrow. I'm Patrick Garvin from JMP Cycles. And I'm Jade Helgens from JMP Cycles. This is the 2013 JMP Cycles gift guide. We got lots of great products for all the bikers involved in your life, ranging in different prices, gifts for him, gifts for her, and even gifts for your kids. As far as gifts under $25 go, rock straps are an absolute steal. Say you pick something up at a biker rally and you, and you don't want it to get away from you or you know fall off your bike, this is, this is a great bargain. Um, they, uh, they clip on and off really quickly. They expand anywhere from 12 to 42 inches and hold about 100 pounds. They have a little loop at the end, loop it through it to itself, and then pull it tight, one end. It's expandable, so it helps hold tension on it. Yeah, won't scratch your paint. Easy to do. Slam dunk under 25 bucks. And our next gift is the J&P Cycles Tubeless Tire Repair Kit. Yeah, it's a great little kit. It has plugs in it, even has CO2 cartridges to air the tire up. It's not going to air the tire completely up, but it's going to do enough to get you rolling again to get you where you need to go. I've seen numerous customers come in where they've been stranded on the side of the road, and this could help save them from being stranded. And for gifts under $100, you can't afford not to buy this toilet seat right here. I mean, just for the person that has everything on their motorcycle, what else would you get them? I mean, they have everything on their bike. You know, another plus about this is if you're going to throw up, this is much nicer and softer to rest your face on than like a hard plastic lid. I would definitely say that's just in time for the holidays and that very special eggnog. You could spend some time here. As far as gifts under $100, um, this exhaust wrap kit, it's a good one. If, if you're looking to give somebody something for their bike, uh, almost anybody who has a motorcycle could use this. It will definitely toughen up their bike. This is an old school hot rod look, been around for a long time and it also works. So it's a uh, form and function. Next are our gifts for under $250. We have the Titan 1,000 pound mini jack. Yeah, and this is, uh, as you mentioned, it's 1,000 pounds, rated for 1,000 pounds, so, and almost all cruisers have a cradle type frame, which these flat jacks slide perfectly underneath, and then you just crank them up. It'll raise the bike up about 16 inches off the ground, which is perfect for doing any kind of like wheel, tire, or brake maintenance. And this item will definitely make it a lot easier on a biker who's trying to do repairs on their bike to do it safely. Yeah, basically this is the gift that keeps on giving. No matter how long you have your motorcycle, no matter how many motorcycles you have, you always be using this. Next up for under $250, notice how Patrick's wearing a First Classics men's vented leather jacket with carry conceal holsters. Yeah, and basically this jacket's all about protection. Uh, 1.3 millimeter cowhide to protect you if you go down. And you know what? It allows you to protect yourself with concealed carry holsters. And in uh, left and right side, gun goes in here. We also have one over here, so it's, am it's ambidextrous. So if you're a Second Amendment supporter, this is uh, a, a good fit for you. And it's perfect for warm weather and even cool weather because it has an inner lining that you can zip out and for in the warmer weather, you have two chest vents, and you even have a vent across the back for your shoulder blades to let all that cool air go through. But just a warning though, this may not look as good on you unless you have a beard as nice as this. We have the Roland Sands Design Ronin Men's Leather Jacket. Man, does Patrick look great. It's a beard. Um, yeah, in typical Roland Sands fashion, I mean, this kind of follows his legacy, I guess, as a bike builder of both, you know, form and function. I mean, it's a super functional jacket, uh, pre-curved arms, and it's longer in the back for actually riding. It has pockets for armor inside, a great satin lining. 
but it also looks great. Short of actually buying somebody a motorcycle, this is the next best gift you can get. Ladies, this is a perfect jacket to give your man if you want to give him the best in quality and it's going to make him look great. If you want to express your love to somebody monetarily, buy them an expensive jacket. When he's riding around in, let's say, flip-flops, worn-out tennis shoes, or even a worn-out pair of riding boots, a great gift are the Bates Big Bend Riding Boots. They will help protect his feet and keep him safe while he rides. He's got a Vibram sole, which is about the best sole you can get. Um, just a good all-around uh, riding boot. And they're uh, actually easy to get. The side, side zipper here makes it pretty easy for him to get in and out of. That way you don't have to try to jam your foot down through the seven inch shaft there. It uh, has a zipper, you can get it out of it real quick. These boots are really nice. Uh, so if you're looking for a gift just for her, the Buddy Buddy is a great way to go. Uh, most people fight, you know, it's the age old thing, a small seat versus a comfortable seat. You know, the smaller seats always look, look the best, but they're definitely not the most comfortable. And this is a good compromise. It'll, it'll fit over just about any rear seat, it's adjustable. And what it does, it, you know, gets rid of that, basically this narrow strip of what you, she would have been sitting on, and gives her uh, a much wider surface, more comfortable, and you can ride a lot longer. Definitely. And for those long rides, most of the time you end up having back aches and your posterior region ends up hurting. This definitely adds more of that comfort. And when you want to put it away and take it off the bike so it doesn't make your bike look less manly, it has this wonderful carrying case for the woman to carry around. If you want to get rid of that annoying whine from the back, this will do it. If you're looking for a gift for her, the Los Amantes handbag here by Lucky13. Um, perfect for overnight trips. You fit it in a tour pack, fit it in a saddlebag, and we all know uh, ladies need as much room as they can get. If, they, if, you, you know, if you give them a bag, they'll want a bigger one and a bigger one. Easily, I could pack for two and a half weeks with this bag. I could put 14 pairs of underwear easily in this bag. And that's all I need for two weeks. I could put that all in this bag. It's got a nice little pocket right inside here where you can put smaller things so they don't get away. It's got a couple of other like pockets here, cell phone pocket. Nice. If you want to get a gift for your woman in your life, definitely get this. If you're looking for a gift for her, there's a couple of great great options right here. The first we have the Moto Lisa uh, vest by Speed and Strength. Speed and Strength's a great street brand, been around for a long time. And as far as riding vests go, this is actually a really nice one. It has perforated sides, um, help with fit and keep you cool. It actually has CE rated armor in the back of it and it has a spine protector. Um, and it's great looking. And one little detail here, it has reflective piping around the sleeves, so a little more visibility at night. Just a great all around, functional, and good looking vest. It's got a little bit of bling that makes it a little bit more flashy, but yet more feminine. Hey guys, you're looking for one last gift or, you know, something just to round out your, you know, selection for the holiday season. But that's a wrap cuff here with studs and jewels on it is a good way to go. You can't really go wrong if your lady is a total biker. I mean, this is a definite slam dunk. Well, that's a wrap for our 2013 JMP Cycles Holiday Gift Guide. Hopefully that gave you some great gift ideas to get your holiday shopping started. And don't stop with our ideas. There's plenty of other stuff on the site. Bump around, you know, check stuff out. If you have any questions, you can chat. You can give us a call, um, email us, hit us up on Facebook. And thanks for watching. Have a great holiday season. See, like I said, welcome back to Full Throttle Vision. We got not just me in here now, we got Mark and, and a, a bevy of beautiful ladies in here to talk about the brown boxer. And uh, you know, I think it's kind of headed up by this one here in the middle. And she's got the microphone now, so why don't you hello. introduce yourself and say hi to everybody. Hi, I'm Brenna. Everybody, this is Brenna. Say hello. Hi, Brenna. Hi, Brenna. Woo! There. <laughs> She's enjoying the microphone now, so she's the one that grabbed it with both hands and taking it by charge. So, this is Hi, Mark. This is how do you how do you do it here? Hi. How do you how do you do this here with all these women and, and this all this? Morgan. It's not easy. And again, Natalie and Morgan, see you're saying it, but you're not talking into the mic. Oh, this is Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're a bartender here, correct? Correct. 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 And you ladies are, are waitresses yes. or bartenders as well. Servers. Servers. Yes. Okay. Waitresses. Uh, waitresses. I don't know how that goes. What yes. is, um, you know, we're here tonight because it's the first Thursday of the night, so we're here doing bike night. 
and uh, it's been. Uh, we're trying to get this going here. We got bands out there. Yeah, it's the fourth one we've done. Each one's getting better. And this one's right after holiday too, so it's uh, it's hard to and say what's going on with everything between Christmas and Thanksgiving. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. you know, so it's the it's that one in in, in the middle. Plus the yeah. first Thursday of the month, it usually sometimes falls on the first, so it's very difficult. Yeah. So I like all the girls standing up with their good costumes. But each one's getting better. It's starting I'm trying to look fun. around. I'm trying to look around you. So where are you, huh? I'm, huh? I'm trying to see yeah. here. Oh, um, there's Tony. Can Sorry. You see past me? Hold on. Let me just talk to you like that. Anyways, as you can see, they have beautiful ladies here. How many TVs do you have on in this joint? About 50. 50 TVs. They're always got sports going. There's always something going on here. Uh, tell us about your Sunday football stuff. Huh? You tell us about Sunday Sundays. Football. Are right. Go ahead. We'll, we'll ask you now. Brandon. Tell us what's, what goes on Sundays here. I don't talk. It's crazy on Sundays. <laughs> we have $500 cash giveaways, tickets, prizes. I'm here on Sundays. She's here on Sundays. Crystal's here on Sundays. It's really fun. Beer specials. And we're here, so. Now, what I know is you guys do the tickets thing. Tell us about the tickets and how, if you get here before early. And, yeah, and when the um, 1 o'clock game starts, whatever game we have on sale, which is usually a Bucks game, we'll have one of the girls run around handing out little it's raffle not a tickets. It's usually, it's, you just, it's usually the Bucks game. Hey, I like the Bucks. I root for the Bucks. I'm too, not from I mean. here, but hey, go Bucks. <laughs> Woo, it's a Bucks life. <laughs> um, but yeah, during the first quarter of the game, we'll give out raffle tickets for a chance to win one of the prizes, which is $500 cash, Bucks tickets, and Miller Lite prizes or Coors Light prizes. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, we were talking about that uh, last time we were here, and uh, you guys give away $500 cash. 500, 500 cash. $100 bills. So. $100 bills. That's awesome. So somebody <laughs> yeah. that's here wins that. Just for yep. showing up. Yep. And then you pull that around Just the 4 o'clock game? Is that when Yeah, we'll give out the, the raffle tickets store in the first quarter of the 1 o'clock game, right. so you have to be here. And then when the game and one o'clock game ends, we got people yelling to get drinks because we got all the girls. Peanut here. gallery. We got all the girls here. You, you belong. You belong at the registration table. People, and then I see him. <laughs> what are you jealous? <laughs> hey Judy, how are hey, you? We're, we're, nice we're, to see we're your better head. Live here. This is great. Oh, sorry, um, sorry. No, it's fine. What about uh, the other stuff that goes on? Do you guys prefer like the hockey games? You get big draws for that, or the fights that happen? Like I know there's the a big fight really coming up. Day, yeah. Uh, in yeah. fact, there's a girl fight coming up. What do you girls feel about oh, yeah. the girl fight coming up? The girls up? wear the pants fight. in this relationship. Oh, yeah. The girls wear the pants in this relationship. Are you are you into the, the girl fighting aspect? What I'm not all mic'd up, I guess, and stuff. Oh, there we go. I'm good now. Sorry, what was your question? Do you like the girl fights? Do you, do you yes, look forward to that? Yes, I do. I love it. What about the shy one in the bed? Is she into the fights? Oh, yeah. I like ass-kicking and everything. Oh, oh there you yeah. go. I, I apologize. The shy one in the back just blurted out ass-kicking. We, we like her. Hello, what? left field. When did you yeah. arrive? <laughs> what, what about you? Do you what's, your, what's your favorite sport that goes on here that you like handling? Is it football? Is it the fights? Is it boxing? It's definitely the fights. It's really um, exciting. I'm not too much into like football and all the other things, but I really like the fights. Come especially because... Mm, <laughs> She's not American. Yeah, no. Um, She's from Russia. <laughs> Russia. But yeah, I mean, the football, you know, gets a lot of people in here, but so does the fight, so. Well, and I think it's, you know, there's a lot to know with football. Fighting, you get out there yeah. and beat the crap out of each other. Yeah. And there's one well, there's winner, one loser. You don't have to, like, be, you don't have to keep on, like, watching it to know what's going on. You can just glance up and see who's fighting. <laughs> this one likes, what if it's too shiny. Yeah. What is this? Tell us about this. And, 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 Morgan, and, uh, tell them about this. This is uh, an event that you guys coming up that uh, goes for, uh, what is it? Abused, it's abused the animals. Canes for, for yeah, the abused animals. It's on uh, December 22nd on Sunday. Goes from uh, 12 to 6. We'll have three great bands playing. Sweet Spot. A dunk tank. I'm going to put Mark <laughs> are you, are you space space Marcus. Space painting. Mark, are you getting in the dunk tank? From what I, it sounds like it. I've, I've been in the dunk tank many times. In fact, I enjoy it. Like, I've yeah. done it for charity n numerous times. Raises good money. It's always Funny, fun. You sit there, you're running but nobody wants to dunk us, by the way. Nobody right wants to dunk guys. I'm just right. saying. I don't know, but right now, dunk guys. right now, everybody wants to be us. Yeah, they want to be us, but they don't want to dunk <laughs> us. That's it. See, look at this. Wait, are you going to put your finger cut on me? <laughs> you see this, everybody? She, she hurt her finger, so it's she's wearing a finger cut. Cutting something. Onions. Cutting. Onions. Oh my God, that's not where I parked my car. Oh my also, <laughs> but uh, back to the um, the fundraiser. It's the twenty second. We got three really good bands Ooh. playing. Our friends from Sweet Spot put it together. It'll be outside the parking lot from twelve to six, and we have raffle tickets There's for selling at the garden. restaurant. And you can adopt good bands pets. too. That's right. Supports. I saw the, the the adoption there. You're, you're, yeah. you're going to adopt pets. The band you got going. Big Brother's a great band, and so is um, Sweet Spot. Uh, Sweet Spot and, and Category, Category Three. Great They're bands. Really I mean, bands. those are really good local bands right there. That. 
I've seen it play at yeah. Quaker Steak, in fact, uh, multiple times for bike Quaker night. Quaker Steak so. and Lube. Yes, so they play there multiple <laughs> times for the bikers. So the bikers watch and know the bands that are involved. Mm -hmm. That's why I kind of brought that up because I'm like, you know, they're doing a bike night first Thursday of the month, and that's what we're pushing here. The first Thursday of the month, we're always here at the Brown Box. You guys got great food. We were eating earlier. You Good got the times. football games on. You got pretty girls. You got TVs everywhere. Aki and the Lightning are on. The Lightning. Are they playing right now? <laughs> Oh yeah, lightning's Let's good. Go lightning. Hey, so you girls like there like goes. hockey at all or no? No, I've never been to a hockey game. I mean, they beat the Me crap either. out of each other in hockey. I've always Ooh. been interested, but I've never been to a hockey game. Either. Microphone, microphone. Go Ball lightning! Oh, there we go. Woo! Go, lightning. Woo! go Canucks! Oh my god! <laughs> is that a team? That is a team. <laughs> I, mean, I, I was just, in, I'm like Maybe. Canucks. Why all? A all the realm of whatever. And if you haven't told, can tell. Oh, she's our special one. <laughs> She is the special one. She one. sits in the middle for a reason here, so that's just how, how it goes. Yes. Well, okay, there's your reason, everybody. There's two good reasons, I guess. Two. All three are now. So, do you have any other events coming up special? I know there's football. I know you got the Sweet Spot event coming up. Um, nice Saturday of every month. We kind of put tents out in our parking lot, get live music going in the afternoon, kind of create Cornhole! Like special. Cornhole. Special. Um, is that a cornhole tournament? Going on. What's that? Is that a cornhole tournament or just? Uh, we have a, so we just did our first one this past Sunday. It turned out it was really fun. Had a great little showing for a little extra to go for the uh, football games for rivalry Saturday. That's we cool. had three so cornhole games going at once. We had ladder golf, people tossing that. We were grilling burgers and hot dogs outside. Is ladder golf the one with the where you, it's got a hit on the yeah, right? Yeah, it's got the rungs with the. I've golf seen holes. that. I've, I've been trying to play that. I suck at it. I missed yeah. the rum. Uh, I prefer the cornhole. Have you tried? Yeah. Huh? It does involve balls on strings. Well, that's probably why you're bad at it. Yeah, I'm not, she's not good with handling balls. That's, or throwing them to get on the yeah. thing. Like I said, she's a special one that's, that, that's going to get us all in trouble here. John, what do you think? We having a good time? Uh, we're getting double thumbs up from John. Yeah. From Tampa Multimedia. And that's not easy. Happen. No, he's uh, busy back there making uh, the show look good. And uh, Let's everyone give a round of applause for John. Is it, is it a round of applause? I was going to say a round of applause for John. A round and a round and a round. Here we go. So again, you guys got the football stuff you do on Sundays. What do you do when, when it's not football on Sundays? Anything special or? We do uh, trivial Monday nights. Just show up, teams up to 20 people. It's free with a chance to win gift certificates. Taco Wednesdays. Taco Wednesdays? You take them to Tuesday out of it, huh? Tuesday is poker. Oh, you guys do poker in here yeah, too? Yeah, World Tavern okay. Poker sponsors it. We set it up upstairs. Guy runs it's really nice. And you get a shot to win a seat at the uh, World Series of Poker. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's yeah. actually worth playing for right there. That's yeah. a... Yeah. I don't know, like a ten thousand dollar buy-in or something like that. Yeah, they'll do different tournaments in the local bars, and the winners of each bar go and play another tournament. And the winner goes. That's taken a huge jump lately with the with the poker. Yeah. You guys get a good draw for that? It's growing. It's like everything else. It's, yeah. We we just started this a couple months ago, so. That's what's cool. It's like you can go to these little bars and win one here, win one there, and be going yeah. to the championship trying to win a ten thousand dollar seat at the poker tournament. You girls play poker at all? Or you no. Cards? No. Just like kicking the shit out of people over like there, like you in the back. Yeah. Is that girl. what it is? Thank you. Like a cheesy angry one. It's way, <laughs> I realize why we put her back there now. See, she, yeah, she's a physical trainer. Oh, is that what it is? Personal that's, trainer. That's why she likes the fighting and everything. Yeah. So your girl's gonna watch the girl fight coming up. I was looking on a poster. Yeah. Yeah. You guys all working that one? And of course, bike night with all the bikers and Harleys and. We love that. What kind of motorcycles do you like? To the bike. I like a Harley. What about you? The fast ones. That one. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, that I one. I like Harleys, yeah. And loud. I like them all. Fast and loud ones. Fast the and fast loud and loud. I like ones with the lights. There was one out there with, like, orange lights the LED throughout lights. the whole... Yeah, the LED lights. That's the 30-inch wheel, too, the one with the, yeah, big, the big bagger. That was, that's nice. I like those. I like last night. Well, I appreciate you girls coming in. I know you got to get back to work because people are yelling and getting screaming about getting food and drinks over there. Mark, thanks for showing up and Absolutely. coming and talking about it. We're going to talk about uh, a couple more events that happened this past weekend. We're going to talk to Jim's Harley. Uh, they did their big toy run. They had, again, about 1,800 people, 1,900 people on the run, about 1,300 bikes. So we're going to get Jim's in here. We're going to show some pictures of that. All that money and toys was raised for charity. 100% went back awesome. to go to the, to, to, the, uh, to the charity. So that's what it's all about. Bikers support so many events over the Christmas time. Uh, it's not even funny. So again, let's thank the ladies for showing up and saying hi. Thanks, Mark. And we're going to be right back. It's been You're real. Awesome. I've been representing accident victims for nearly a decade, and I've always wanted an office where my clients would feel comfortable and welcome. I'm attorney Fran Hosh, 
And I've also always been a fighter, never backing down to any insurance company or their attorneys when it comes to representing my client's rights. Let me deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. If you've been injured in an accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. Walker Ford's Dream Big Sales event is here. It's time to fulfill your dream with savings up to $13,000 and rates as low as 0% for up to 72 months. We have the largest selection of Fusions, Escapes, Edges, Explorers, and F-Series on the west coast of Florida. Walker Ford, where customer satisfaction is our number one priority. Great people, great service, great deals. Serving you since 1957, I'm Frank Walker, and Walker is Ford. And we'd like to wish your family a very Merry Christmas. And a happy holiday season. Wishing you health and harmony. Peace and prosperity. Hope and joy. Magic and laughter. Happiness and good cheer to all. Serving you since 1957. I'm Frank Walker. And I'm Weston Walker. And Walker is born. Waker Steak and Lou Bike Night. The biggest and best bike night in the state of Florida. Every Wednesday night from 7 to 10 p.m., come see thousands of motorcycles each week. Come inside for the great atmosphere and sports memorabilia in the Tampa Bay area. Or you can eat buffet, cold drinks, friendly bartenders, live bands, and all of them see by Radical Randy. Quaker Steak and Loop Bike Night, sponsored by Full Throttle Magazine, St. Pete Power Sports, and attorney Fran Hash. Full Throttle Rocks and Happy Ball Day. Full Throttle Rocks. Full Throttle, Full throttle Rocks. rocks. Full Throttle Rocks.
Full Throttle Rocks! Full Throttle Rocks! Full Throttle Rocks! Full Throttle Rocks! Full throttle rocks. Throttle does rock. Full throttle rocks. Full Throttle Rocks. Check it out. Full Throttle Rocks. For more great videos and pictures from this great event today at Mad Beach Bike Fest, make sure you check out our website, our Facebook page, and go on YouTube and look up Full Throttle Vision TV. Full Throttle Full does throttle rock. rock. Oh, yeah. This event awesome. rocks. This oh, is very yeah. nice <laughs> on Madeira Beach, Madeira Way. Loving it. More of them. Have it more often. I've been representing accident victims for nearly a decade, and I've always wanted an office where my clients will feel comfortable and welcome. I'm attorney Fran Hosh, and I've also always been a fighter, never backing down to any insurance company or their attorneys when it comes to representing my clients' rights. Let me deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. If you've been injured in an accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. with Full Throttle Magazine and just a lot of stuff, period, in general, motorcycle community. In fact, tomorrow she's doing a, a toy drive at her place to get toys for her kids, needy kids. She's awesome like that. Yeah. Speaking of toy drives, we're here to talk about your guys' toy run that just happened. Yeah. Uh, you know, congratulations. It's a Thank lot you. of work in progress. It, it, it takes to make that happen. Um, and it's huge. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. The numbers are still staggering. I got yes. the, the email here with the numbers. 
almost 1,900 people, yeah. 1,900, yeah. almost 2,000 people on the ride, yeah. almost 1,300 bikes on the ride, and it all goes to charity. Sure the, does. The, the things you guys get covered are costs that you can't get away from. You got to pay for certain things, but almost everything that goes into it goes yeah. back. And uh, if I if I remember correctly, Greeny said all the sponsors take care of the stuff. So everything that goes yeah. in that people bring or give money to goes to the charities. Yep. So tell us a little bit about the route this year. What happened? We, I, I didn't even realize it until we started <laughs> talking. And we usually go down by Shadrachs, right? Yes, we did. We usually do, and I don't know what happened. Um, the whoever was leading, the cops that were leading, they took the first left, and but. We'll correct that next year because we okay. kind of like to go by Shadrachs and um, good biker bar, good yes. beach bar. It's been down there forever and a day. I've yes. known, I've known about Shadrachs since I remember coming to Florida. So yep. the place is awesome, and uh, I mean the ride was great. I, I yes. saw fantastic. I hear any kind of bad news, which is mm -hmm. always good. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Great. So yep. that's good, everybody. Mm -hmm. You got to understand, you get, you know, almost uh, 1,300 bikes on a road riding together, and nobody had any issues couple little breakdowns but that happens overheating and stuff like that it happens you can't help that when you're riding 1300 bikes something's gonna happen soon you know some people ran out of gas I talked to some of the um, the, the everybody and it's just it turned out great this year yes. it, it it was awesome I saw the pictures of the toys yeah. did you guys already go and donate those toys back too right you already dropped them off or no um, the schools most of the schools already picked them up we had one that we were gonna deliver they couldn't come and bring it so uh, they couldn't come and pick it up so we're gonna deliver it to them very cool. So who, are the who are the schools that it goes to? There's 13 schools that we donate to. Um, That's awesome. We just added two uh, from last year. We had 11. We just added two more schools. So. And that's what it's all about. Those those toys yes. go to the schools, and you know they go to the schools. So they go oh, to the yeah. kids at the schools oh, and yeah. eat toys. So, mm -hmm. and, and that's that's what bikers do. We do yep. great events. We raise a lot of money. We raise a lot of toys. And we make sure kids that don't have. Uh, plans for a good Christmas yep. or, or any or holiday season have good toys and good Christmases. That's what it's all about. It's all about the kids. If you if you're a kid and you have a bad Christmas, that's scarring. And, and oh, you know yeah. what? Oh, yeah. I think bikers realize that because you got a I guess a, a biker's a little well better off than most. Right. Because a bike's a toy, and you spend money on a toy and you're out having fun, so you can afford the better luxuries in life. Mm -hmm. So you go out there and you make sure that other people that are less fortunate have that opportunity to have good Christmases. Yep. Which is why I love the motorcycle oh, yeah. community. Yep. First event I ever did was a toy run on a motorcycle. We went to All Children's Hospital and the kids were outside mm -hmm. waving and, you know, I, you can't help but get teary-eyed. Right. I don't care who you are, biggest, burliest biker That's walks right. in and gives a kid <laughs> a toy and that kid, you know, smiles and oh, you yeah. just, you melt. it is what it is. Yep. You, you melt. That is a very good way. Now, you know, so congratulations, number one, on, on, on a great run. I'm sure you're already Thank in planning you. process for next year. Oh yeah, that's starts already. <laughs> that's the best part. As yeah. soon as it's over, that's start right. planning for next year. Yep. Um, if you've picked up your newest issue of Full Throttle Magazine, you'll see this. It says Holiday Shopping Days. Uh, it tells you all the events that are happening at gyms. I'm trying to get yes. the glare off it. All the events that are happening at gyms, Harley-Davidson. Um, December 10th is a women's shopping night. Yes. What happens at the women's shopping night, which is also December 17th, is men's. So what happens at those shopping nights that it says in the magazine? Well, they like to have, we're going to have a woman's night where just the women can come and shop for uh, their significant other, husband, wife, whatever they want. And um, we'll have light snacks if you can RSVP um, to myself, Kim. You're the event manager, so yep. you, you make it happen, to don't K you? Cabral at gymshd.com and um, the men's, the same thing. Um, it's from 6 to 8, so we'll be open till 8 o'clock. Um, Which is two hours past normal, is that right, correct? Correct. Two hours correct. past yes. normal, so you can get there after work and everything, so it's yep. great. Then I noticed you have uh, the December 20th to the 22nd public Christmas shopping. What's that? The, what was it? I'm sorry. Public Christmas shopping? Yes, it's just so that people can come in. We're on the 23rd, we're, we're staying open, which is a Monday. We're staying open until 8 p.m. <clears throat> I see that. And then the 24th, you're closing at 3, yes. which is good. And it closed for Christmas. I respect that. You got to be closed for Christmas. That is what it's yes. all about. Yep. And then you guys uh, close at three, the December thirty first for New Year's. Correct. So, yep. And uh, oh, you get the free box. We we talked about the the box last yes. time. Yep. And it's a very cool box. It's got uh, gems and you know, like kind of stamped on there. Yeah. It's a neat thing that you can put a whole bunch of your knickknacks in. Uh, over three hundred dollars, you get that box for free. Yeah. Oh, look at Gamo. We just had him on the show with, uh, <laughs> a second ago. <laughs> Why aren't you waving with your right arm, man? What's going on? 
so I know. Oh. Mr. Gummo, <laughs> he's, he's injured, can't take photos for us yeah. at the minute. But uh, yeah, we just had Gummo, he was waving at us on the uh, um, Madeira Beach Bike Fest video, so it's too funny. Well, Kim, thank you for being on the show. Thanks for thank coming you. out and supporting uh, Brown Boxer Bike Night, the first Thursday of every month. You guys are out yep. here. Yep. Uh, you know, we're trying to get this thing going and trying to pick it up. They got live bands, you can drink in a parking lot. Yep. They got a bike show, they got prizes, they got raffles, they got you name it. They got girls that we had, we had this studio full just a minute ago mm -hmm. with, with Mark who was telling us about everything. We had five girls in here. They were all talking about whatever <laughs> and doing their thing. I don't think anybody cared what they were saying. No. They were just talking <laughs> in the microphone to them. They didn't even know what they were saying, so yeah. I, you know, we were asking them questions. But we had a good time. Again, you guys need anything from Jim Charlie Davidson? Kim is the event manager, event coordinator there. Yep. Uh, Kim Cabral, C can you spell the Cabral? C-A-B-R-A-L. K Cabral, it's K Cabral, right? K Cabral, K correct. K Cabral at gymshd.com. You can get a hold of her if you guys want to put something on there. Yeah. You want to do an event, you want to know about an event, anything going on, you want to be part of their toy run in December next year, give her a call. That's yep. what it's all about, helping the community, doing the right thing, right? That's right. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. No, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's right. Merry Christmas. I'm not a happy holidays okay. guy. I'm a, I'm a Merry Christmas. I scared you. Right. I'm not yelling at you. I just. No, I, that's I, good. I, the holiday's great. Uh, well, Thanksgiving's a holiday, so now that's over. New Year's, yeah. I don't know if it's a holiday, so I say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's right. Keep the Christ in Christmas, right? Yep. I don't know. Maybe that's me. I'm just weird. That's. That's not a question, though. I, I know I'm weird. So, again, let's thank Kim and Jim Charlie Davidson. And if you went on a run, did we have pictures from that, by the way? We did have pictures from that. Oh, see, let's breeze through those pictures real quick. Look, we had some great pictures from people. I know we had the fire truck in the run this yeah. year. Yeah. Look, I was going to go to commercial break. I just remembered the pictures. Look at, oh, that's uh, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting him on his toes tonight. John's doing great back there. He's doing good. These are the... Who are the girls doing those bags? You know? All our volunteers from the schools. Oh, those are from the schools. Yes. That's great. Yep. Yeah, we can flip through these pictures real quick and just show some of the great stuff that happened. There's a bunch of people set, you know, coming out. It was a great morning. It was kind of misty and, and, and yes. it was nice and cool. Yes. And it wasn't like overwhelmingly hot until you got back to the event right. and was like, yep. all right, this is pretty good. It worked out well, yeah. WQIK was out yes. there. Dave McKay was on the ride. Yep. Um, I don't know if you want to do a shout out to all the people that helped make it happen. While we do this, why don't you read all the people? Oh, my oh, oh okay. <laughs> we have um, all the law enforcement officers that helped, helped escort the ride, which there was a lot. The local St. Pete and Leoman Fire Departments that helped lead the trail and, and, uh, and tail the ride. Our local celebrities, Dave McKay and Jen Holloway, for promoting the event. Mike and M&M Barbecue for putting out some great barbecue for a lot of people. Yes. Tony from Full Throttle for covering Yay. the event. Hey, I got the plug in there. I missed that plug. I was in the middle. The city of St. Pete uh, uh, and the mayor's office for all their hard work and permitting and organizing, which is very big, yes. uh, are dedicated employees for all for working their butts off, which they did. Mm -hmm. Your Everyone, employees put yes. a lot of work yep. in. The FLGC Hog Chapter, who handled out handed registration. School volunteers for helping out with so much. All the great generous sponsors pictured below, and this is on the website, of course. You can see that. And, of course, the generous people who donated and participated in the sun and run. You know yes. what I mean? So We couldn't do it without everyone's help. There's a fire truck. Actually Yay. made it this year. Didn't break Yay. down or nothing. Wait, knock on wood. I got to knock on wood. There's a big group. I believe that's, uh, is that the Blue Knights? I'm not it sure. May, maybe. Looks like the, there's a Blue Knight yeah. guy in the middle. I know that for sure. And you had the real fire the fire department leading yep. it. We were in the back yes. um, with the full throttle fire truck. There's Santa and uh, a provocative Mrs. Claus there. Huh? I think it's a little cold there and, and, and uh North Pole to be wearing something like that. Yeah. <laughs> we had some great pictures from there. I wanted to breeze through those because it was a good, a good event this year. Yes, a lot of great people, a lot of great costumes. I miss the elf guys. I, I missed them too. Where'd the elf guys I go? I don't know. They must, Come back. <laughs> last year there was a group of like 10 guys that wore elf costumes yes. and rode little scooters. Hilarious. They were they great. They took more they pictures than anybody. All right. Kim, thank you again. Thank you. Thanks, Jim Charlie Davidson and Brown Boxer for having us out tonight. You're watching Full Throttle Vision. We're going to play some commercials. We'll be right back. The last several years have been confusing and trying for homeowners. Advisors Mortgage and Financial Group was there before the housing crisis, during, and we are still here now advising people of their options and helping them choose the best financial solutions for their family. You do have options, and today's market promises lots of opportunities. We have found that there are a lot of questions out there and misinformation, and we want you to know we have answers. Advisors Mortgage and Financial Group providing solutions today for a better tomorrow. 
I'm Patrick Garvin from JMP Cycles. And I'm Jade Helgens from JMP Cycles. This is the 2013 JMP Cycles gift guide. We got lots of great products for all the bikers involved in your life, ranging in different prices, gifts for him, gifts for her, and even gifts for your kids. As far as gifts under $25 go, rock straps are an absolute steal. Say you pick something up at a biker rally and you, and you don't want it to get away from you or you know fall off your bike, this is, this is a great bargain. Um, they, uh, they clip on and off really quickly. They expand anywhere from 12 to 42 inches and hold about 100 pounds. They have a little loop at the end, loop it through it to itself, and then pull it tight. One end is expandable, so it helps hold tension on it. Yeah, won't scratch your paint. Easy to do. Slam dunk under 25 bucks. And our next gift is the JMP Cycles Tubeless Tire Repair Kit. Yeah, it's a great little kit. It has plugs in it, even has CO2 cartridges to air the tire up. It's not gonna air the tire completely up, but it's gonna do enough to get you rolling again to get you where you need to go. I've seen numerous customers come in where they've been stranded on the side of the road, and this could help save them from being stranded. And for gifts under $100, you can't afford not to buy this toilet seat right here. I mean, just for the person that has everything on their motorcycle, what else would you get them? I mean, they have everything on their bike. You know, another plus about this is if you're gonna throw up, this is much nicer and softer to rest your face on than like a hard plastic lid. I would definitely say that's just in time for the holidays and that very special eggnog. You could spend some time here. As far as gifts under $100, um, this exhaust wrap kit, it's a good one. If, if you're looking to give somebody something for their bike, uh, almost anybody who has a motorcycle could use this. It will definitely toughen up their bike. This is an old school hot rod look, been around for a long time and it also works. So it's a uh, form and function. Next are our gifts for under $250. We have the Titan 1,000 pound mini jack. Yeah, and this is, uh, as you mentioned, it's 1,000 pounds, rated for 1,000 pounds, so, and almost all cruisers have a cradle type frame, which these flat jacks slide perfectly underneath, and then you just crank them up. It'll raise the bike up about 16 inches off the ground, which is perfect for doing any kind of like wheel, tire, or brake maintenance. And this item will definitely make it a lot easier on a biker who's trying to do repairs on their bike to do it safely. Yeah, basically this is the gift that keeps on giving. No matter how long you have your motorcycle, no matter how many motorcycles you have, you'll always be using this. Next up for under $250, notice how Patrick's wearing a First Classics men's vented leather jacket with carry conceal holsters. Yeah, basically this jacket's all about protection. Uh, 1.3 millimeter cowhide to protect you if you go down. And you know what? It allows you to protect yourself with concealed carry holsters. And in uh, left and right side, gun goes in here. We also have one over here, so it's, am it's ambidextrous. So if you're a Second Amendment supporter, this is a, a, a good fit for you. And it's perfect for warm weather and even cool weather because it has an inner lining that you can zip out. And for in the warmer weather, you have two chest vents and you even have a vent across the back for your shoulder blades to let all that cool air go through. But just a warning though, this may not look as good on you unless you have a beard as nice as this. We have the Roland Sands Design Ronin Men's Leather Jacket. Man, does Patrick look great. It's a beard. Um, yeah, in typical Roland Sands fashion, I mean, this kind of follows his legacy, I guess, as a bike builder of both, you know, form and function. I mean, it's a super functional jacket, uh, pre-curved arms, and it's longer in the back for actually riding. It has pockets for armor inside, a great satin lining, but it also looks great. Short of actually buying somebody a motorcycle, this is the next best gift you could get. Them. Ladies, this is a perfect jacket to give your man if you want to give him the best in quality, and it's going to make him look great. If you want to express your love to somebody monetarily, buy them an expensive jacket. When he's riding around in, let's say, flip-flops, worn-out tennis shoes, or even a worn-out pair of riding boots, a great gift are the Bates Big Bend Riding Boots. They will help protect his feet and keep him safe while he rides. He's got a Vibram sole, which is about the best sole you can get. Um, just a good all-around uh, riding boot. And they're uh, Actually easy to get, the side side zipper here makes it pretty easy for him to get in and out of. That way you don't have to try to jam your foot down through the seven inch shaft there. It uh, has a zipper you can get in and out of it real quick. These boots are really nice. Uh, so if you're looking for a gift just
I've been representing accident victims for nearly a decade, and I've always wanted an office where my clients would feel comfortable and welcome. I'm attorney Fran Hosh, and I've also always been a fighter, never backing down to any insurance company or their attorneys when it comes to representing my clients' rights. Let me deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. If you've been injured in an accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. is here. It's time to fulfill your dream with savings up to $13,000 and rates as low as 0% for up to 72 months. We have the largest selection of Fusions, Escapes, Edges, Explorers, and F-Series on the west coast of Florida. Walker Ford, where customer satisfaction is our number one priority. Great people, great service, great deals. Serving you since 1957, I'm Frank Walker, and Walker is Ford. And we'd like to wish your family a very Merry Christmas. And a happy holiday season. Wishing you health and harmony. Peace and prosperity. Hope and joy. Magic and laughter. Happiness and good cheer to all. Serving you since 1957. I'm Frank Walker. And I'm Weston Walker. And Walker is born. <laughs> Walker is Ford. Waker Steak and Loop Bike. I, I think they're great. Gotta love Walker Ford. They're one of our great sponsors, great advertisers. They're a big sponsor of the Motorcycle Expo that happens in January. That thing's coming up. We got a lot of great stuff there. Um, we're going to talk about the Suncoast Brotherhood toy run that's coming up the, uh, December 15th. We got some pictures from last couple of the years. This was last year's. It starts in the Kmart parking lot in Dunedin. Um, of course, we have the fire truck goes on there. We decorate it all. There's Scott's there right there, everybody. Scottsters and Kimmers, they always ride in the fire truck. Uh, Do and Ann right there, full throttle representations. And this is a good one because everybody comes out kind of a little goofy. They wear great costumes. They get a bunch of bicycles and toys together for it. This happens December 15th, and you set up in the, in the Kmart parking lot. And the cool thing is, look, everybody gets dressed up. You can come with nothing because you sit there in a the parking lot, so you run into Toys R Us. They put all toys out in the front. You go buy a toy, you bring it, you throw it on the fire truck. There's Rhett and everybody, that's our big group, and Fran Hash, and Paul, and Charlie, and me, and there's Fran again. Gotta love Fran. We love Fran. She does so much. So you go there, you buy your toys in Kmart, you come throw it on a fire truck, and uh, you take it all down there. And you'll see how they do it here in a second. They got that, with the, that trailer that brings the bicycles, and then they lay out tarps, like that. And the toys just pile up and pile up and pile up until you can't see any more tarps, and you know all those toys are going to kids that need them basketballs, Nerf guns, look at that. And there's like four or five huge tarps and it's just on top of each other. Look at Louise in there dropping her toys off. So that's always a great time. Again, December 15th, um, great event, Suncoast Brotherhood. I believe we have a, a picture of their ad in there that gets uh, uh, in our uh, calendar of events that has a little bit more information. Um, I know there's a, a small fee. They're looking for more toys and money, uh, you know, because the toys go to the kids. Oh, look at that. Boy, we have a backdrop and everything. This is the Citrus County Foster Kids Annual Toy Run, December 14th. The, when, and there's our cover of our magazine this month right there. You got Fran Hash and the kids. If we stop here for a second, this one is tomorrow. This is the uh, Christmas toy drive at uh, Fran Hash's office. Uh, if, from noon to 6, they're going to have food and drinks there. Always doing a great job. Uh, so if you guys are looking to bring some toys and presents to kids and put smile on their faces, uh, it's going to CASA and the Largo Middle School and the Pinellas. Oh, we got, we got the little ones in the back. And uh, again, great time. Fran Hatch's office in uh, Palm Harbor. Uh, if you guys need any more information, uh, pick up the magazine or go to lawfran.com. I'm sure it's on there. Uh, they give you all the information or give them a call at 784-8191. That's area code 727. They'll give you more information. Um, and this was Jim's, had all the great events, December 10th and 17th is a men and women's nights shopping. Uh, you got, it's open to the public and then they're staying open late December 23rd. 
and they're closing early on the 24th and they're closed for Christmas, which I again respect them for that. And then they're closed early on New Year's Eve so everybody can go out and have a good time. The Roar on I-4, they're actually bringing in some of the um, people from the Sons of Anarchy, the Grand Marshals. They're bringing in Tig and Chibs out there and uh, ticket prices are $20 per bike. You can ride on it, join the Tri-County Chapter of Bikes Against Child Abuse and help raise awareness for child abuse. Uh, that's over at OrlandoHarley.com. You can look it up, OrlandoHarley.com, for more information. And it's a roar on I-4. I like that one. Oh, here we go, getting into the expo. It is Expo 30, everybody. And in, in, in full throttle world, it's happening. We're here, January 24th through the 26th, as you see at the top there, the Florida Motorcycle Expo, emceed by Radical Randy. Look at our custom ring with a carrot worth of diamonds in there with our logo. That goes to the champion bike builder. So much going on, like a ride-in bike show. St. Pete's Power Sports is sponsoring $100 an hour cash. You can win $100 an hour every hour on the hour. It's a crisp bill. We got free fireworks display Saturday night. Friday night's an LED show, a burlesque show. All right, that's what I'm talking about Friday night. And a man cave giveaway, which is going to include a billiards table, a rack with pool cues. We're going to have a TV. We're going to have probably a mini fridge, maybe a grill. You win all that when you win it. You just sign your name. You enter on our uh, email list, and uh, one person will be one uh, done to do that. By the way, Continental Wholesale Diamond has created our ring. Love them. Can't wait to see it. It's supposed to be coming out here soon. You will be able to see it at Bike Nights coming up. And uh, I'm going to wear the son of a gun before it goes on somebody else's finger because I think it's awesome. Just kidding. Um, again, Friday at the event, Soul Circus Cowboys kicks it off with Greg Billings. We got the burlesque show and the LED show Friday night. Um, and that's our Friday show. We, we do a ribbon cutting ceremony Saturday. Jeff Vitolo and a quarter mile rebels. Awesome band. If you like rockabilly, great stuff. Then you got uh, Bobby Friss playing from three to six and the black honkies playing from eight to 10. Great lineup at uh, seven o'clock. We do our miss full throttle contest. Uh, and then eight o'clock our fireworks then Greg Billings. Sunday, Jaded's uh, opening up. Stormbringer's rocking it uh, to end the show. And we give away our big bike builder awards and we do a ride in bike show the same day. We want to thank our judges, which is the um, uh, IMBBA, International Master Bike Builder Association. They do all the judging and the hard stuff that I don't have to do. They're going to decide who wins the five grand and the $5,000 estimated value ring. And I am certainly glad that I am not making that choice. There's that ad for the Suncoast Brotherhood coming up. That's the 33rd annual toy run. That's been going on a very long time. Uh, December 15th, starts in the Kmart parking lot, US 19, and... Uh, State Road 580 and Dunedin, police escorted, kickstands up at noon, $5 in a toy, and it goes over to the American Legion Post 275, um, and the Coke Pavilion uses, lets us use our parking and everything like that, so that's a great run. Definitely go do that one. Jim's and Suncoast Brotherhood are two of the best runs. Um, Thunder by the Bay, the second weekend in January, huge event. You're talking anywhere from 60 to 80,000 people attend this event. It's down in the streets, down in Sarasota, packed. They got um, Fog Hat kicking uh, Saturday night, January 11th, um, and it's just big. You want more information, go to thunderbythebay.org, uh, and Will will be down there handing out flyers and giving out books and all that information for the expo coming up. So we'll be down in Sarasota at that. And this is our teddy bear toy run. This is the full throttle one. It is December 21st. We moved it a little closer to Christmas this year. This one is the only toy run that goes to... Um, all Children's Hospital, St. or St. Joseph's uh, Children's Hospital. Uh, all Children's has three or four that come there, but St. Joseph's has none, and we do one in Christmas and one in July. Um, you know, the Christmas season and one in July, and Christmas in July there. Uh, so this is December 21st. It's ten dollars and or an unwrapped toy. Either way, we just want a lot of toys to bring to the kids. We donate all the money right to the hospital. We take it right there, hand them a pile full of cash. You go there. You go. So. You know, you could uh, drop off toys at Quaker Steak and Lube um, and a bunch of other places. Again, you can bring them and we can put them in a fire truck. And then this is one we touched on for a second earlier, Citrus County Foster Kids annual toy run. Put a smile on a child's face. That's what it's all about. Benefits the foster kids of Citrus County who will be there to receive the gifts. That's awesome. They're there. That's the Saturday, December 14th. Uh, two things with full throttle. Hey, Charlie. Two things with full throttle. This uh, Welcome, Charlie, to the, to the party. Um, December 14th, Full Throttle will be doing two parades. We're going to do the Tarpon Springs one at yep. 10 a.m. We're doing a Tarpon Springs one at 10 a.m. And then at night, we're going to do the Newport Ritchie one. So talking there, we're going to talk. So we're going to do two parades in the same day. 
I've never done it. Two parades the same day. Have you? And nope. And we're gonna try riding some bikes in the parade stuff. So anybody got bikes, especially water cooled bikes, <laughs> especially water cooled bikes, you know, because come on the ride. I've I, I've done it on a Harley, and you overheat, and you start hearing one cylinder kick off, and then you're like. All right, I'm going to pull up here and sit while this thing boils for a few minutes. And <laughs> it seriously feels like it's boiling because you're, you're overheating and revving and trying to do the clutch. Your hand hurts. Yeah, get a get a water cooled well, bike. You're going to be fighting the fire truck, so that would be pretty fun. The fire truck is a fight, <laughs> let me tell you. Oh, by the way, it's for sale. Anybody wants to buy the fire truck, you're more than welcome after the Christmas season. So you want to come see it, and it's a great uh, float. Fun thing to do. It runs. It's great. We have a got great full time. Got throttle rid on it. Everything. Yeah, I mean, it's, rid, rid on it. You got. You got to love the irony of a fire truck that's painted with flames on it, don't you? I mean, that's just me, in my it's, opinion. Especially when that top speed is 50 miles an hour. That's only if you're going downhill <laughs> and you're really pushing it. So, so. that's when you, you get worried. When you start getting 50, so. 55, you're like, maybe I should pull back a little bit. Well, Charlie, thanks for joining us. We're just ending the show right now. What do you got to say to the Full Throttle uh, viewers out there? Hey, have a great holiday season. Don't forget, we got a lot of toy runs coming up. I'm sure you covered a lot of those. All of them. Especially our 16th annual Teddy Bear, Teddy, toy Bear run. Teddy Bear Toy Run. December 21st, yes, sir. And we need to have a ton of bikes lined up. We want to line them up out there. Of course, like you said, the parades, all that good stuff. Our and toy run starts at Tampa Harley. I don't know if I touched on that. Tampa Harley Davidson on Dale Mabry. So that's where we start. And you guys, they got great specials. They put out food and everything for us too. So it starts at Tampa Harley Davidson on Dale Mabry. Uh, and then we go to St. Joseph's. Real quick, easy ride, mm -hmm. but it's well worth it. So. Oh yeah, and of course the kids waiting down. That is, that is just a sight you never forget. Those children waiting. Usually down there. a good 10, 15 kids outside waiting, and you can hand them a toy if their parents allow it. You can take pictures with them and let them rev pipes and all that good stuff. So, and all right, Charlie, it, take us out. We're gonna say goodbye, man. Oh, you, he's got I just want to throw in. I heard from Tracy. She made it for Charlotte. She says she's gonna strangle us both because it's raining. Uh, our secretary Tracy took off and she, to California. IA, yep. And uh, she, uh, you just dropped her off at the airport. He just dropped came her, here yep. from her. So. We sent her well wishes on her trip to California and um, hope she, she, she comes back in one piece. Hope she has a safe trip, be back Tuesday, so she was looking forward to it. But yeah, when she got there and it was raining, she's... <laughs> we, were, we were stressing her out all day. <laughs> Snowing up there, it's raining, they're gonna have to cancel everything. She didn't uh, like us after that, did she? No, but hope she had a good trip up to Charlotte, now she's gotta make that cross country trip to LA and then, so. That but it's four the hour, sun, you five know. hour trip's horrible. I, I've yeah. done it many times. Yeah. But it's so look at Gabo in the back. Hey, Gabo! Hey, Gabo's in here. What's up, bro? So, so Tony, take us out, brother. Happy, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to everybody. That's we, right. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We're going to do more shows between now and then. Next week, you know, we're running a show, right? We're running a show? We John's not going to be here. We have to do this show. Whoop, whoop. Should be fun. Remember the old days of doing that? Yeah. Well, I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're doing a show together. we got to set up play, the tri Play the three-ring circus music while you, we're doing it. You want to watch funny, next week watch the show. It, it'll be different, to say yeah. the least. <laughs> so. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching Full Throttle Vision every Thursday night, 7 to 8-ish, when. whenever we decide to, to shut up, whenever I decide to shut up and call it a day. John, I think that's it. We're out. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching Full Throttle Ride Vision. Safe.